Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, I'm currently completely bullish for Bitcoin and Ethereum my friends, we have some very very nice price action going on and also we have some very bullish things uh, in some charts. So that's why make sure that you're watching this video until the end my friends because we are looking very very bullish and I think we are about to go completely parabolic for Bitcoin and of course also for some altcoins especially Ethereum. So in today's video we're gonna focus more what are the potential blue sky breakout targets here if we are able to create new all-time highs on Bitcoin and Ethereum and of course what are also the dangers signs that we maybe could see a blow off top at least for now very very soon so we're gonna analyze uh, different the important indicators and before we're gonna start with the content my friends I just want to tell you that this seven day challenge on Bybit is started you can you can still sign up also for the next series but uh, right now this challenge is going on and you can trade basically everything here on Bybit and we, it will be counted for this price pool of $200,000. So make sure that if you're trading here on Bybit that you also sign up to this special event because like this you can not only gain more money if you are successfully trading but also here you can get some extra money as well. So definitely check it out. All the links are down below here in the video description to register to Bybit and of course also to this competition. And also a big reminder, my friends, it is very important that you're always keeping your cryptos in hardware wallets. So only put your cryptos in exchanges when you want to buy or sell something or if you have to trade over on Bybit or Femex with leverage. But otherwise, for the long term, always keep your cryptos in hardware wallets. And I always recommend you Ledger because it's very easy to use and those are also the hardware wallets that I am using. And currently we are having a special promotion here if you get here this crypto starter pack with my link down below here you will get this uh, special beginner's guide made from ledger then of course also a ledger nano s hardware wallet and a 25 dollars voucher which you can use in the ledger nano s app like that you can easily claim these 25 dollars and buy some cryptos with it so definitely go and take this nice promotion that Ledger is having right now. It's a limited offer and like this your cryptos will be stored in a hardware wallet safely for the long term. So make sure that you're using hardware wallets to store your cryptos. And now my friends, let's start straight here into the content and we're gonna start here in the one hour time frame. We're just gonna cover quickly here the lower time frames because it's more important that we're gonna have a look into the bigger time frames and also what are the potential targets here if we are able to break this all time high that we had in Bitcoin here at around $62,000. Because as you can see here in the one hour time frame, we finally broke out to the upside from this resistance that we had in these last couple of days here at around $59,000. So currently we are breaking out to the upside and in the one hour time frame we are also confirming this previous resistance trend line as a new support and that's why I'm pretty bullish that very very soon we're gonna see here a follow through towards $62,000 so towards the old all time high and if we are able to break it to the upside my friends in my opinion we will go towards 75 to 100k to our bullish targets here at least for this first cycle top that we maybe could get here before we're gonna see any kind of major correction. So the lower time frames, my friends are looking again very very bullish. We are trending above all the important moving averages and also here in the four hour you can see that currently we are again closing candles above the nine moving average. So in theory now we shouldn't drop below $59,000. So if today we can close above $59,000 I'm pretty confident that this was then the confirmation that we are definitely heading towards our bullish targets and most likely gonna also break the 62,000 all-time high that we had so far. 
So the only problem that we have currently is that the lower time frames are a bit overbought. So of course that could mean that we maybe could see a weak or a little pullback or even go sideways for a while before we're reaching those levels. But everything is pointing out that we definitely gonna fight this all time high of $62,000 very soon. So if you're trading over on these events on the Bybit or Femex, make sure that you're looking for good long opportunities. The problem right now that I personally have is that the funding rates are very very high so keeping up a big trade right now costs a lot of money because funding rates are still very very high and I am planning to open up some nice longs over on Bitcoin maybe also on Ethereum after the holidays because usually I don't like to trade too much during holidays or weekends because very often during holidays and weekends we see less liquidity and more volatile moves to the upside and also to the downside and that's why usually I don't like to keep a trade opened during holidays and weekends so I prefer to open up trades during regular market times and that's why most likely I'm gonna wait until next week but of course, if you want to take a trade, then I would look now for a good long opportunity, my friends, because we are really looking very bullish in the lower time frames. And I'm expecting here a very explosive move to the upside here in the Bitcoin price. And therefore, now let's go over in the daily time frame. Because in this time frame here, you can see that we could form here a potential ascending triangle that I also showed you here in the CME chart. And if here we're going to break out to the upside, which in theory is already taking place, the target would be at least to reach here the $72,000 here on the CME chart. But if we go over into the spot chart, if we do here a measurement target of this potential breakout here to the upside this could easily take us so let's assume that we're gonna break out tomorrow here to the upside this could take us easily up here towards eighty thousand dollars and as you know this 75 to 100k area is the red zone from our logarithmic growth curves so we can pull out this indicator right now here into the daily time frame and you can see that this would take us exactly here at the beginning of this red zone right at eighty thousand dollars so in my opinion it will be very easy for bitcoin now to have an explosive breakout up to this level here and then maybe even overshoot it to the upside and enter in this red zone and you can see the top of this red zone is right now at 104 thousand dollars so it is possible that bitcoin could have a big blow off top up to this price level and then see a bigger sell-off this would be the scenario if we're going to see a blow off top here at those stages but otherwise if here we are able to consolidate above eighty thousand dollars so above this resistance trend line that is coming from these last highs that we had then in my opinion there is even a chance that we're gonna stay for a very long time within this region up here until we're gonna reach prices way above $100,000 because these logarithmic growth curves every day they are rising up quite a lot and that's why the more time passes the higher these logarithmic growth curves are going and of course the higher we can also go here with the price if we're gonna see here big fireworks to the upside which in my opinion are very likely to come and that's why let's pull out here also the P cycle top indicator for Bitcoin here because it is coming very very fast here very close to the price action my friends and usually whenever this moving average is crossing the price action we always have seen a cycle top in the past and this was always a good indicator that we are approaching a cycle top which of course doesn't mean that this is the end of the bull run, but at least we could face a local top. Then we may be gonna see a major sell-off, which will take us back down towards important supports, for example, like the 200 daily moving average or the 20 weekly moving average. So then we can accumulate again more Bitcoin and then start the next parabolic move to the upside so if we're gonna repeat something similar like we had also in 2013 where we had two cycle tops within a bull market then in my opinion this area up here between 75 to 100k would make very much sense if somewhere here we could see a blow of top because maybe some people will take here some profits and that could cause a bigger sell-off down to these important moving averages that we have in the weekly and in the daily to then of course accumulate more bitcoin at a cheaper price 
this is at least my theory what could happen here if we're gonna see an explosive move to the upside because in that case we would here enter into this red zone and of course this will also trigger here the P cycle indicator so these price targets up here my friends are a potential local top at least for now before then we're gonna see maybe a bigger sell-off then maybe a small bear market and accumulation phase again before then we gear up to levels way above 100k and once this indicator is triggering a cycle top we still can go even 100 percent to the upside because also in the first cycle top in 2013 after that this signal was flashing we had an increase of almost 100 percent in the bitcoin price so if here we would go almost 100 percent to the upside this will take us straight up here towards this 104 thousand dollars and that of course in my opinion would be a nice take profit area just to be ready that if somehow we're gonna see a sell-off down towards a 20 weekly or 200 daily moving average so let's say between 40 to 20k that we are able to accumulate and buy more bitcoin at a cheaper price i wouldn't say that that would be the end of the bull market but at least there we could see a local top then a big sell-off and then again accumulation to then ride it up towards levels way above 100k because remember that based on the stock to flow price model we are still very early here to reach 100k so that's why in my opinion if we are able to bring the price right now here towards 100k there is still a high risk that we could even fall down again towards this blue trend line which is telling us where the price should be in right now based on the stock to flow model and maybe gonna reach the ultimate cycle top targets way above 100k more towards the end of this year and not right now so i think it's not a bad idea to think about to maybe take a little bit of profits out if we are really able to reach within the next coming days because this p cycle indicator moving average is coming very very close and very fast to the price action so this moving average will reach the price action within seven to 10 days and then we're gonna see what will happen my friends at those prices right now so if we're just gonna start to trade sideways here at around 60k and we're gonna have here the signal flashing in my opinion it's not worth to take the risk and start selling and taking profits but if on the same time we're gonna have an explosive move into this red zone up here between 75 to 100k in my opinion it's not a bad idea at least to take a little bit of profits out maybe 10 to 20 percent just to have a nice cash balance to be able to buy more bitcoin if somehow afterwards here we're gonna see a big sell-off down towards the 200 daily moving average or towards the 20 weekly moving average so right now i am very very bullish for the bitcoin price my friends and i'm expecting here big fireworks to the upside incoming very very soon we maybe can even stay for a couple of more days or weeks here fighting this 62 000 dollar resistance before then finally we're gonna have a big breakout to the upside and enter into this red zone but if we're gonna see here a big breakout to the upside in my opinion this could be one of these last big pumps here before then afterwards we're gonna see a big take profit a big sell-off and that's why it is very good my friends if you think about what you want to do once we are going completely parabolic here to the upside because of course for the long term bitcoin will go to way higher levels but if you have no cash on the sideline, it might be not a bad idea if here we're gonna see an explosive move to the upside into this red zone, maybe to take a little bit of profits out, especially if we're gonna have several sell signals flashing here in several indicators in this region up here, just that you have some cash on the sideline and also realize some profits so that you're able also to buy the dip if somehow we're gonna see at some point a bigger sell off. So a big breakout is incoming my friends here for Bitcoin so be prepared to see very explosive moves to the upside very very soon. I don't think that we will go lower than $50,000 so below our main support that we currently have here at around 50k before we're gonna see here big parabolic moves to the upside which could of course end up in a big blow off top. But this is what we have to see once we are breaking out here to the upside the important thing is now that we are able to create new all-time highs because once we are breaking the 62 000 dollars in my opinion we will see big explosive moves to the upside here for bitcoin 
And the same thing goes also for Ethereum. If we now have a look here into the Ethereum price action, you can see that since we broke out from this resistance here, we just continued to pump here and the measured target is here to reach this 2500 to 2600 dollars the only last resistance that we have is this one over here at this old all-time high here of around 2050 dollars so if here we are not seeing a bigger rejection or a bigger sell-off then in my opinion we will go straight here towards this 2500 dollar area maybe even overshoot it to the upside because as I told you my friends, Ethereum currently is still lagging behind Bitcoin and here we still have a lot to recover. And it's not just because the Ethereum chart is looking very bullish and we are still above all the moving averages here in the daily, but it's also because of the Bitcoin dominance that currently is potentially falling off the cliffs here. So as you can see, we weren't able to enter back into an uptrend here in the daily time frame. We got rejected from the EMA ribbons and right now we are losing this main support at 60% that we had so far and the next target would be this region down here at around 50%. And if the Bitcoin dominance will fall from 60 to 50%, we're gonna see a huge altcoin season, my friends. And that's why I'm very, very bullish currently for Ethereum, of course, also for some other altcoins. But if the Bitcoin dominance will fall here down towards this 50% level, so towards the support that we had from this channel that we are in now since a lot of weeks and months, then be prepared to see a huge altcoin season so right now the Bitcoin dominance is falling we are quite oversold here so in my opinion there could be still a chance that we will see a bounce here and maybe go and retest the 60% area and if we are confirming it as a new resistance then there maybe we could start to fall down here towards 50% and that of course we're gonna see a lot of altcoins exploding and most likely also outperforming Bitcoin so in my opinion it's not bad to also be diversified right now into some alts because here we really have the chance to multiply easily our Bitcoin by just flipping some altcoins if here we're gonna lose the Bitcoin dominance at 60% and fall towards 50%. This could be quite huge my friends and that's why consider also to invest in some altcoins especially Ethereum because if Ethereum is starting to go parabolic to the upside it can easily outperform Bitcoin since we are still lagging way behind Bitcoin on the Ethereum price. So if you want to buy and trade some altcoins, then make sure that you have an account ready over on Binance. I usually use this exchange here to convert Bitcoin or fiat into altcoins. If you need an account here on Binance, then make sure to use my referral link to get some bonus and also you support the channel because once altcoins are going completely parabolic to the upside like this it's very easy to multiply then your bitcoin because all the profits that you're doing then with your altcoins you can easily convert it back into bitcoin or also into some stable coins so once we're going completely parabolic because like this you can really multiply your bitcoin my friends in a very easy way without trading even with leverage and if you're looking for good altcoins to buy in in, then check out some altcoins in the DeFi space and otherwise just look at coin market cap just watch at the top altcoins there and then diversify a little bit into them but me personally I'm mostly into ethereum so that's why my biggest holdings next to Bitcoin of course are ethereum and if ethereum is completely outperforming Bitcoin I might gonna convert then some ethereum back into Bitcoin because at the end my goal is always to try to accumulate more Bitcoin and not altcoins. So we are looking extremely bullish my friends on Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm very excited for these next coming weeks. I think within a couple of days and weeks we're gonna see here big moves incoming. So this consolidation down here same in Ethereum and also in Bitcoin in my opinion is going to be over very soon and we're gonna see some big fireworks to the upside coming up next and if we have a look also quickly into the dxy you can see that we had now since we topped out here currently at around 93 dollars and 47 cents 
a pullback and right now we are having a little bounce here at the nine daily moving average. So it is possible that here at this resistance trend line we are getting rejected and we're gonna go back down here to retest the 220 daily moving average at around $92.40. But if here we are not seeing enough support, we could easily again crash down towards the main support of this ascending broadening wedge that the DXY is still in it. And the support currently is down here at around $90. And if we would see something like that here in the DXY, this could then really be the driver that will take Bitcoin towards 75 to 100K. And not only Bitcoin, but also other coins and other assets, like for example, Nasdaq, which is currently also pumping. Yesterday, we had a nice close above $13,000. And also today you can see that the mini futures continues to pump here. And that of course is also very much in favor for the Bitcoin price. So if Nasdaq is also here able to reach this all time high that we had here at around $14,000, I'm also pretty confident that here also we're gonna break it to the upside and we're gonna see in several assets, not only in the crypto space, but also in the stock market, big fireworks to the upside, especially if the DXY here is getting rejected and it's gonna have a big crash down towards $90 again. Of course, we still have a lot of support here in theory. So let's see what will happen once the DXY is reaching these levels down here. But currently we are seeing this pullback after reaching again this red trend line up here. And that's why I'm expecting here some continuations to the downside, which of course is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market. And at the same time, we are also getting here confirmed sell signal. So even though we are here in an uptrend in the daily time frame, I'm expecting here continuations to the downside to potentially retest some important supports. And if they will not hold and the DXY continues to crash, we're gonna see these big fireworks that I think could really come here in the very close future, my friend. So in the next coming weeks, in my opinion, we will go out of this region that we are in here since many weeks already. And most likely we're going to see here a breakout to the upside. And then, of course, we're going to need to check what will happen up here because we are approaching very critical points up here. And then we're going to have to decide if we should take a little bit of profits out or if we should be all in because, of course, for the long term, Bitcoin will go to anyway way higher level. Levels. So if you're taking out some profits, if here we're gonna see a big move to the upside, then just make sure that you are using this money then again to accumulate more Bitcoin because for the long term, if you are buying for the long term, you don't have to freak out too much by buying and selling Bitcoin because at the end, if you just buy at any point at any price and you hodl through whatever happens at the end, you anyway will be the winner and have the most gains without doing anything. So the easiest thing in the crypto space usually is just to buy and hodl. But of course, sometimes we have to take a little bit of profits out just to be ready to accumulate more Bitcoin. If somehow we're going to see at one day a bigger sell off. And I think if this big breakout here to the upside will take us towards 100K already in April or May, I think it's not a bad idea just to take a little bit cash off the table to be ready to buy the dip. If maybe after reaching 100K, we're going to see somehow a sell off. So let's see what will happen once we're going to reach those levels up there, my friends. We are now still here at around 60K, but I think we're going to see here a big breakout to the upside very, very soon. So with that said, guys, going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also a big shout out to our great Discord trading chat. If you want to join our great crypto community here on Discord, make sure to use the invitation link that you find only here in the video description. Once you have clicked on this invitation link, you can go to the read first channel and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you can contact me here with a private message because a small donation is needed to get access to this indicator. And otherwise, you can also just use here these YouTube membership subscriptions. Like this, you also have free access to the Discord live stream.
And of course, check out all the links that you find down below here in the video description because those are all the exchanges and crypto platforms that I'm also using. And if you sign up to those exchanges or platforms with my invitation links, you will get some extra bonus and also some extra money. Especially if you are new in the crypto space, you will find here some very useful links how to get also some extra free cryptos. So check them out and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.